Hello everybody, my name is Eric, and today I'm going to talk to you about my inventory system for Unity 3D. It will be released on the Asus Store in the future. If there's a feature you don't see in this video that you think should be included in my inventory system, please don't hesitate to leave a comment. So, as you can see, this is the inventory. There are items, uh, a carrot, some pancakes, yummy yummy pancakes, and um, what's this? <laughs> it's an egg, a cracked egg. So I can pick them up, move them around, um, and if I hit space, I'm gonna fill the inventory with more items, just like that. And um, I can pick it up, I can place them together, and um, yeah, I mean it it works just like an inventory should work, right? And it would be a shame if, if it didn't, right? <laughs> so it's easy to use. You just need to set up a canvas inside Unity and add the inventory image asset just like you would with a raw image asset. Here you see the inventory in the scene view, and as you can see, it is just a rectangle with two triangles, and that's all you have to worry about, one object in the scene. You can scale it, you can't really rotate it, um, but I don't know why you would want to, if you do want to rotate it. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a difficult job for me to implement, but if you really think you'd want to rotate the inventory, I'm gonna look into it if you just leave me a comment. Alright, so how does it work? How do you set up an inventory in Unity with this system? So, first you need an item shelf, and this is just a container, so all the items are in one place that you can find at runtime easily. I can add another item. Let's say this fishbone. Uh, I can change the name if I want. And now if I hit space, it should add items and hopefully we'll get a fishbone. And we did. You might see this little bit of a flickering glitch when I resize the game window. Um, I know what's causing it and I'm gonna fix it in the future. So, when you have all the items you want, you also need an inventory skin. This determines how the inventory looks. So, you can change the FPS. You can um, change the size, so you can have a 3x3 three three instead of a 6x3. And this, you can't change this at runtime, unfortunately. N and neither the render void multiplier. And that's basically this square that goes around the inventory. That is for the hand to be rendered. The hand does not get rendered outside this square. So, if you add numbers, 0 through 9, you can have numbers to show how many items there are in one stack. And the font offset just changes where this number is displayed. It starts at 0, 0, and for each whole number you add it's gonna move one pixel this spacing variable is the space between the numbers you can change the background texture um, it doesn't really work <laughs> like that uh, because the background pixel is always gonna be the same size as the slot pixels and the item pixels. You can change the slots, so you can change to and the regular slots to be highlighted. You can change the, hi the highlighted slot to be the regular slots, and that just inverts it right like that. You can change the slot pixel offset in X and Y. You can change the slot pixel spacing in X and Y. This is just how many pixels there are between the slots. If I make it zero, you can see there are no pixels between the slots. The slot select pixel expand is just a number. If, I'm, if I change it to zero, the selection is just the size of the sprite. So there's now one pixel between each slot and that is also true with the selection. One pixel between the slots. If I change it to minus one, 
the selection bounds will shrink by one pixel on each side. The slot set, item set, text set and hand set just changes the set position of each of the different variables in the inventory. To display this I'm gonna find the camera in the scene. I can change the slot set position. It behaves like you could imagine. The item set position, the text set position and the hand set position. It's more difficult to show. If I move this down behind the inventory, you can see that it is indeed behind the inventory. So this is one of my favorite features. You can add offsets and they are very customizable. I'm not going to go too much into it because I, th I think this will change before release. So when I add an offset, I can see a grid that represents the slots in the inventory. And if I click one of them, it will highlight it. Then I can change the offset of that slot individually. You can also select multiple slots. So, if I change the type from single to continuous, it will add space between all of the slots in front of the selected slot. If I click push, it's gonna push all the slots with it that are in front of the selected slot. The selection, of course, still works. Then, if I want, I can add another offset. And you can add as many offsets as you want. Let's see, I want to offset this slot. Um, singularly, 5 pixels in the X and in the Y. And I don't really like this first offset, I'm going to delete that. And there we go. And there we go. That's a look at my inventory system for Unity 3D. If there is anything you think would fit the system that I haven't included yet, you can write a comment. I will read all of the comments. Thank you for your help. Bye.